So you're scrolling on LinkedIn and one of your previous interns just got into Google or a colleague of yours just got into Jane Street and is on 500k before bonuses. Maybe you've spent the past few years learning to code and this guy got a job in four months. He could even be a junior developer who's struggling. Software engineering can be such an anxiety-inducing field because of two pivotal reasons. One are social reasons, and that's developers do a lot and they post a lot on the internet. So you see a lot of developers posting their open source projects, their career achievements, and it just makes you feel bad because you're not doing anything outside of work. But then there's this other side of anxiety where you feel like the code you're producing isn't good enough. You'll get judged at work for being too dumb or inefficient or you don't feel like you're good enough to interview yet and you're just holding yourself back. So I'm going to deal with each of these because I've been through both of them and I'll start with social anxiety. And fundamentally, there's just two ways to approach social anxiety in software engineering and they divigate on very different paths. The first approach is you're anxious, but you want to be better. Don't wait to be good enough to start doing something. This could be content creation, applying to jobs, making your first project. The point is to make the most atomic start possible. So for example, if you want to do content creation, don't start off with YouTube, that's going to be a bit too overwhelming. Maybe start off with blogging on Medium, and then start making a few YouTube shorts or a smaller form of YouTube video. These tiny movements eventually compound into something much bigger. And it's the same with programming. You don't start off by building the next Twitter, you start off by printing a pyramid in Java, and you slowly build on top of that every Every time you get better. Content creation, programming, open source contributions, these things take time. Another tip I'd like to give you is if you're a bit socially introverted and you want to start going to conventions or meetups in your area, don't start with the meetups. Maybe that's a bit too overwhelming. You could go and start with online communities, maybe just responding to YouTube comments, slowly migrate over to Discord, maybe slowly migrate over to another community. The point is you want to find the smallest start you can make. You want to find the equivalent of just opening up VS Code for any activity that you're doing. But then there's a different side to this. And let's say you don't care about any of this, you don't want to get better. To you, software development is just a means to an end and you want to spend your free time doing something else. Let me be the first to tell you that that's fine. Software development is just a job. I'm not sure where I missed the memo that being a developer is like being a samurai warrior where you have to have lifelong commitment at getting better and being the best possible and getting into Fang. I don't know, I may have missed that memo. But if for you, software development is just a job. You just want to get paid, clock in 9 to 5, do your thing, clock out, spend your time however you want to with your family, on your hobbies. You shouldn't let any of this make you feel guilty. I'm doing this because I like programming. This is what I would do in my spare time over anything else. Similarly for you, you can do other things in your spare time. Don't feel anxious about it. Don't let content creators on LinkedIn, YouTube make you feel guilty for not wanting to improve yourself. You are content with the way things are. Don't let other people make you feel anxious. It's completely fine to just treat this like a job. Now, the second kind of anxiety I wanna talk about is more technical, and it's development-related anxiety. So you're a junior developer and you're assigned a task, but the code base is huge. You don't wanna ask a bunch of questions and seem dumb. Or maybe you're anxious about the code you're going to write itself. What if your solution isn't the best? What if you look dumb to other devs? You watch tutorials, you look for answers on Stack Overflow, but eventually in this chain, you end up producing nothing. Let me tell you, you're not alone. I was exactly like that when I was a junior dev. And what I've found is the pivotal philosophy of programming, iteration. Programming is iterative. When you ask your first dumb question, you'll know that it's dumb. With anything programming related, it's not about how much you know, but it's about how many times you've done the thing. So for example, the first time you wanted to print hello world, say 10 times, you probably copy pasted console log. Over time, you learn that you can just use a for loop. Similarly, these bigger problems like handling tasks at work or building your first project or starting to contribute on open source, you should look dumb because if you're not feeling dumb 90% of the time, you're not growing. The point here is don't think about how anything makes you look. A dumb question, bad code. Focus on solving the problem and how you're going to solve the next one even better. And that's all programming is. It's a bunch of small concentrated iterations on improving your code and the way you think. Thank you for your time. I'm Big Box.